The Path of Purification, Visuddhi Magga, Obatanta Charya Buddha Gosa, published by Buddhist Publication Society, Kandy, Sri Lanka. Part 2. Concentration, Samadhi. Namo Dasa Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambuddhasa Chapter 4 The Earth Casino Extracts Passage 42 to 53 The Ten Kinds of Skill in Absorption However, if this does not happen while he is practicing in this way, then he should have recourse to the ten kinds of skill in absorption. Here is the method. Skill in absorption needs to be dealt with in ten aspects. 1. Making the basis clean. 2. Maintaining balanced faculties. 3. Skill in the sign. 4. He exerts the mind on an occasion when it should be exerted. 5. He restrains the mind on an occasion when it should be restrained. 6. He encourages the mind on an occasion when it should be encouraged. 7. He looks on at the mind with equanimity when it should be looked on at with equanimity. 8. Avoidance of unconcentrated persons. 9. Cultivation of concentrated persons. 10. Resoluteness upon that concentration. Herein, making the basis clean is cleansing the internal and the external basis. For when his head hair, nails and body hair are long, or when the body is soaked with sweat, then the internal basis is unclean and unpurified. But when an old dirty smelly rope is worn, or when the lodging is dirty, then the external basis is unclean and unpurified. When the internal and external basis are unclean, then the knowledge in the consciousness and consciousness concomitants that arise is unpurified, like the light of a lamp's flame that arises with an unpurified lamp bowl, wick and oil as a support. Formations do not become evident to one who tries to comprehend them with unpurified knowledge, and when he devotes himself to his meditation subject, it does not come to growth, increase, and fulfillment. But when the internal and external bases are clean, then the knowledge in the consciousness and consciousness concomitants that arise is clean and purified like the light of a lamb's flame that arises with a purified lamb bowl, wick and oil as a support. Formations become evident to one who tries to comprehend them with purified knowledge, and as he devotes himself to his meditation subject, it comes to growth, increase and fulfillment. Maintaining balanced faculties is equalizing the five faculties of faith and the rest. For if his faith faculty is strong and the others weak, then the energy faculty cannot perform its function of exerting. The mindfulness faculty is function of establishing. The concentration faculty is function of not distracting and the understanding faculty is function of seeing. So in that case, the faith faculty should be modified either by reviewing the individual essences of the states, concern that is the objects of attention, or by not giving them attention in the way in which the faith faculty became too strong. And this is illustrated by the story of the elder Vakali. Then if the energy faculty is too strong, 
The fifth faculty cannot perform its function of resolving, nor can the rest of the faculties perform their several functions. So in that case, the energy faculty should be modified by developing tranquility and so on. And this should be illustrated by the story of the elder Sona. So too with the rest, for it should be understood that when any one of them is too strong, the others cannot perform their several functions. However, what is particularly recommended is balancing faith with understanding and concentration with energy. For one strong in faith and weak in understanding has confidence uncritically and groundlessly. One strong in understanding and weak in faith errs on the side of cunning and is as hard to cure as one sick of a disease caused by medicine. With the balancing of the two, a man has confidence only when there are grounds for it. Then idleness overpowers one strong in concentration and weak in energy, since concentration favors idleness. Agitation overpowers one strong in energy and weak in concentration, since energy favors agitation. But concentration coupled with energy cannot lapse into idleness, and energy coupled with concentration cannot lapse into agitation. So these two should be balanced, for absorption comes with the balancing of the two. Again, concentration and faith should be balanced. One working on concentration needs strong faith, since it is with such faith and confidence that he reaches absorption. Then there is a balancing of concentration and understanding. One working on concentration needs strong unification, since that is how he reaches absorption. And one working on insight needs strong understanding, since that is how he reaches penetration of characteristics. But with the balancing of the two, he reaches absorption as well. Strong mindfulness, however, is needed in all instances, for mindfulness protects the mind from lapsing into agitation through faith, energy, and understanding, which favors agitation, and from lapsing into idleness through concentration, which favors idleness. So it is as desirable in all instances as a seasoning of salt in all sources, as a prime minister in all the king's business. Hence, it is said in the commentaries, and mindfulness has been called universal by the Blessed One. For what reason? Because the mind has mindfulness as its refuge, and mindfulness is manifested as protection, and there is no exertion and restraint of the mind without mindfulness. Skill in the sign is skill in producing the as yet unproduced sign of unification of mind through the earth casina, etc., and it is skill in developing the sign when produced, and skill in protecting the sign when obtained by development. The last is what is intended here. How does he exert the mind on an occasion when it should be exerted? When his mind is slack with overlaxness of energy, then instead of developing the three enlightenment factors beginning with tranquility, he should develop those beginning with investigation of states. For this is said by the Blessed One, Bhikkhus, Suppose a man wanted to make a small fire burn up, and he put wet grass on it, put wet cow dung on it, put wet sticks on it, sprinkled it with water and scattered dust on it. Would that man be able to make the small fire burn up? No, venerable sir. So too, because when a mind is slack, 
that is not the time to develop the tranquility enlightenment factor, the concentration enlightenment factor, or the equanimity enlightenment factor. Why is that? Because a slack mind cannot well be roused by those states. When the mind is slack, that is a time to develop the investigation of states enlightenment factor, the energy enlightenment factor, and the happiness enlightenment factor. Why is that? Because a slack mind can well be roused by those states. Because Suppose a man wanted to make a small fire burn up, and he put dry grass on it, put dry cow dung on it, put dry sticks on it, blew on it with his mouth, and did not scatter dust on it. Would that man be able to make that small fire burn up? Yes, venerable sir. And here, the development of the investigation of states enlightenment factor, etc. Should be understood as the nutriment for each one respectively, for this is said, because they are profitable and unprofitable states, reprehensible and blameless states, inferior and superior states, dark and bright states, the counterpart of each other. Wise attention, much practice therein, is the nutriment. For the arising of the unreason investigation of states enlightenment factor, or leads to the growth, fulfillment, development, and perfection of the arisen investigation of states enlightenment factor. Likewise, because there is the element of initiative, the element of launching, and the element of persistence. Wise attention, much practice therein, is the nutriment for the arising of the unreason energy enlightenment factor, or leads to the growth, fulfillment, development, and perfection of the arisen energy enlightenment factors. Likewise, because there are states productive of the happiness enlightenment factor. Wise attention. Much practice therein is the nutriment for the arising of the unreason happiness enlightenment factor, or leads to the growth, fulfillment, development, and perfection of the reason happiness enlightenment factor. Herein, wise attention given to the profitable, etc., is attention occurring in penetration of individual essences. And of the three general characteristics, wise attention given to the element of initiative, etc., is attention occurring in the arousing of the element of initiative, and so on. Herein, initial energy is called the element of initiative. The element of launching is stronger than that because it launches out from. Idleness. The element of persistence is still stronger than that because it goes on persisting in successive later stages. States productive of the happiness enlightenment factor is a name for happiness itself, and the attention that arouses that is wise attention.